welcome back. Uh, Thank you. Uh, I, I want to get into uh, all the new things, but uh, but first I want to talk about. Uh, I know you just finished filming Ant Man. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ant Man and the Wasp. Uh, no, quant it's Quantum Mania. Quantum Mania. Uh -huh. Just just one name. One name. Just Quantum Mania. Quantum Mania. Yeah. These these Marvel movies. I mean, uh, also crazy like, quantum. It's qu it's so many quantums <laughs> that it's Quantum Mania. Yes. That's how many, that's why they, there's too many quantums to talk about. Now, when you signed up for the first quantum, uh, kind of, okay. I'll right? go with that. You, thank you, I'll go with that. You, you do the first Ant-Man and you go, oh, this uh -huh. is cool. And, and you're, you're in that film. Does Marvel tell you that you're going to be another, you're gonna qu leap? <laughs> Does Marvel explain to you that you're, how many quantums you're in, possibly? <laughs> is there any? No. No. no, no, they're very mysterious. Yes. And, um, and you know they're very secretive, of course, of their storylines. They're so secretive. That. So secretive. But I kind of like that. Even, well, it must be hard for you. It's a little hard because, you know, I I met with Peyton and um, I knew a little bit about the character, but there was no script, and they and you it it you have to commit without actually having read anything. Have you ever done that before? Uh, no. Wow, that's uh, you have a lot no. of faith there. I did, um, but you know, it's a, it's, it's kind of. Um, I mean, it wouldn't have mattered because it all changes anyway. <laughs> yeah, it so, does, right? Yeah, it's sort of you don't really know what you're getting into, and then you get a script sort of right before you start shooting, and, and it then all changes. And then it changes every day, and so, and then you shoot the movie, and you wrap, and then it changes again. We well, do that on Saturday Night Live too. I remember when I was on that show, they go, "Don't memorize your scripts because they change." Every last minute, and if you're like going, like, uh, I'm gonna go get the milk, and you're like, no, we cut that milk bit. Yeah. So if you memorize that line, that makes no sense. It's like, so nerve. I mean, for me, it's just so nerve. I'm not improvisational. I'm not. Yeah. Really? No. You just you study your lines. Yeah, you go, I do. Your mark and nail it. I'm very controlling. <laughs> yeah, you are very controlling. Uh, I know you. You have a very talented uh, uh, husband as well, mm -hmm. uh, David E. Kelly. Mm -hmm. uh, man, he's on fire again. Yeah, he, he kind of never went. Uh, he's yeah. always been on fire, but he's crushing it. I know. Uh, would Would you ever work with him? Would you ever work together? No. Perfect. All right. Great. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I. I. I mean, I. You know, I'm. I mean, the way he, nobody writes, honestly, better for women than he does. His, He's his unbelievable, dialogue. by unbelievable. the way. He is a talented, talented and, um, <laughs> He really is, yeah. And, um, and yet I, I value our relationship more than a good part, and I just think it's too risky. Yeah. And I think, and you know, we're both kind of fierce when we work. Yeah. And so, so I, I, if I come home and I've had a bad day. He's there for you. And I'm upset about something, you know, I want him to be on my side because he hasn't heard the other side. <laughs> That's really funny. You know? That's very really funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't, yeah, there's, he hasn't heard the other there's side. There's value. He knows the other side. There's, like, oh, wait a second, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> there's, there's value in that. <laughs> exactly right. Yeah. That's very, very smart. How did you guys meet? It's a blind date. Real? Yeah. Blind date with Michelle Fiverr? I'm not good left to my own devices. So, um, yeah, my... Did he freak out? I would freak I out. I think he was... If you go to a blind date and you go, your blind date is no, Michelle Fiverr. No, I mean, he knew it was me. What? It's not blind like that. Oh. I mean, it... Not like a reality show? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Some would say, you Can know, you imagine? like a dinner party. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. Ish. Was it one-on-one? -on -one? Mm, no. Ooh. I thought it was a good idea to... Um, I was kind of nervous, I guess. Okay. And I'd had a couple of bad blind dates, and I had sworn off of them, and my best friend said, please, just this last time, meet this guy, David Kelly. I said, okay. So um, um, I, I thought it was a good idea to do, like, a bowling party. <laughs> wow, really? Not a good idea. I don't know. I, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I, I guess you just, uh, you can't, you have to kind of give it, I mean, bowling is very vulnerable. Just anyway, like, yeah. but then, so. Wearing other people's <laughs> shoes, I mean, it's a whole thing. And so, you... <laughs> so then we, we all met for dinner before. I like bowling. Which all was right. the awkward part, probably. I think the bowling part was okay, but then he, somehow, he ended up sitting across from my sister, and I ended up sitting across from his best friend, and he and my sister were just chatting it up, you know, because she's, you know, she's. Charming. She's very charming and really good socially. I'm not so good. And he's a little bit shy. We're both a little bit. So you're looking at your sister like, hey. Yeah, and I'm thinking. Calm it down a little bit. No, yeah. I, no. 
No, I'm th I say to my best friend, I think I should set Dee Dee up with him. They seem to be really hitting it off. She said, don't you dare, I will kill you. <laughs> anyway, she said, I am sitting across from your next husband. Your sister said that? My best friend said yeah, that But she me. knew it? She knew it. Wow. We yeah. hadn't spoken two words. I don't know how she thought that, but anyway, that was she our... She was right. How, how many so years have you been married? So it didn't start off great. Yeah, but how many years have you been married? Uh, it'll be 29 this year. Yeah, not too shabby. There you go. She was right. She was right. She was right. Uh, every time you come on, I just I, I gush over you backstage, but I will gush uh, uh, in, in, in front of stage. Uh, I, and just say that you have so many iconic roles. Uh, it just you just in the news because the new Catwoman, uh, Zoe Kravitz was that. Everyone's talking about Catwoman. Everyone's like Michelle Pfeiffer is like I mean. That's the bar has been set, you know? And I was like, oh, yeah, I go, I mean, you were phenomenal in that. And I checked your Instagram, and there you are with the cat, with the whip. And you, you still have the whip. You I took do. it, you stole it from the set. <laughs> and. No. You were given it. I, I was, it was my practice whip. <laughs> How would you know the difference? You know which one was played. No, there's your hero whip. Okay. Oh. And then there's your practice whip. Oh, that's your practice. Oh, you got to keep yeah, the practice. So, whip. Yeah. You put in the time. Exactly. I mean, you're actually unbelievable. I'm a little rusty. If you looked at this, so if now, you looked at yeah. the clip. now, yeah. But yeah, but that's but but no, we actually have a clip from when mm -hmm. you were doing Batman Returns. Mm -hmm. Look at this video. Watch Michelle Five. Oh yeah. How you doing? Now. <laughs> and you got smoke coming out of it? What are you doing? Come on. I want you to have the hero whip now. That was so fun. I mean, I want to talk about uh, the first lady, okay, when we come back. Okay, more with Michelle Pfeiffer, everybody. Come on back. Hey.